call out you, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukah Kadash. Devil, honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, who rule well. Shalom. Salutations to the hopeful elect. I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. And sincerity and truth. All right. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. Okay, this is the brother Yahweh from the great millstone Chicago camp. Basically coming back with another lesson. And um, this lesson is just basically about doing the work to the body, to the, to the um, you know, we do all things into edification, for edifying the body, you know, brothers just out there, you know, invited to do the work in our position, and um, we was going uh, something to this effect on the line uh, yesterday when we was out there doing the teaching, all right, the apostles, you know, been heavy on it, the elders and other brothers of Great Millstone been heavy on, on it, because, you know, it's about doing the work, and a lot of brothers... You know, I got a saying called time waste management, you know, TWM. A lot of brothers, you know, don't really know how to manage their time and their opportunity of leisure in this truth. You know, you know, you, you, you make time for this, you make time for that. But a lot of brothers, then it come, it's the end of the week and you really ain't did one or two videos, you know. And I'm not um, a man myself who makes videos every single day. But when I find that opportunity or when I make that time, you know, you, you got to give your how about shit me how it's shy. His due, all right? And that's for making the videos, you know, reading, going over the Hebrew, whatever it may be, you know. Because our bodies, we're presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. We're the watchmen of Israel, all right? The scripture says the lion has roared. Who cannot but prophesy? You know, this is our job to get into these scriptures, all right? To reveal it to the people, to the children of Israel. Because we are the watchmen. The, the uh, apostle brought out the scripture in one of his recent lessons. Uh, that I think it's in Isaiah. He said, I have said, a watchman, we should not hold their feet day or night. And he goes straight into it in the book of Ezekiel, which has been coming out lately as well. I'm going to start at this. This is Ezekiel 3 and 1. It says, but moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause my belly to eat, and fill my bowels with this roll that I give thee when I did eat. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a strange people, and of a people of a hard language, but unto the house of Israel. And, and eating this roll is consuming these scriptures, all right? Consuming the Bible, reading the Bible, the Apocrypha, which was taken out of the Bible for the first time. Watch it, the King James Apocrypha, which is uh, included in the 1611 King James Bible, all right? But it was taken uh, via the Bible Destruction Group, you know, the Edomites, the wicked rulers in this world, because it's a very powerful piece of the scriptures that reveals who they are. And these later, these latter day prophecies that we see coming before our eyes, you know, now more than ever. It says for that. So consume this role and go speak to the house of Israel, which consists of the blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right, that has their their seeds scattered abroad throughout the nations. You know that some may look like the other nations. Not many people of a hard speech and of a hard language who words thou canst not understand. Surely, I had I sent thee to them. They would have hearkened unto thee. And that's why you see a lot of heathens, you know. They come, they look, they double check. They look the 12 tribes sign. They see their nation. They don't see their nation on there. You know, they keep walking. Or some of them inquire why they're not on the sign. But, you know, Israel is a hard-headed people, man. But the other nations, that you know, they want to be a part of the, of the Most High's inheritance. You know, Israel wants to be an inheritance of every other thing on the planet, you know. We have sold our, our God... You know, we have turned on our God for those which are not gods, like it says in the book of Jeremiah. You know, paraphrasing. Again, what up, Salakia, verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto me, for they will not hearken, for the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto thee. For all the house of Israel are imputed and hard, hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and their forehead strong against their forehead. As an adamant harder 
that flint have I made thy forehead fear not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And a lot of guys are afraid. That's why a lot of guys don't want their face out there. They don't want to put out videos. You know, they don't want to go out there in the street and teach because, you know, they might see their cousin. You know, they might look weird. Hey, we don't really care about those things. The scriptures say the unjust and the abomination to the just. And the just is an abomination to the unjust. We're not supposed to look right. Our light is too bright amongst these um, strangers, all right? We live in a cockroach society. You know, you cut the light on and all of them run. You know, right now we shine with the light of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but you have brothers falling out and not want to do this work because they don't want to be seen because they fear the, the, the incredulity of these people, like it says in our second measures. We're not supposed to fear the unfaithfulness of these people. Romans 3 and 3 said, For one of the sons did not believe, man. A lot of these people are not going to believe, and they're going to speak weird about you. You're going to look strange. Hey, but nobody cares. We were set up. If the Lord gave you this wisdom, he gave you this talent. He didn't give it to you to put it in a napkin and bury it. He gave it like, like, the, like the parable in the gospel. He gave it to you to put out there to bear fruit and, and produce. All right. So I'm going to jump down. Matter of fact, I'm going to just keep reading. It says, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, all the words that I shall speak unto thee, Receive in thy heart and hear with thy ears and go and get them to the them of the captivity to the children of Israel and speak unto them and tell them, Thus saith Yahweh, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So whether our people listen or whether they don't, it's it's, it's our spirit because we have the ability to do this. We're not a shoulda, coulda, woulda, but you didn't. We are the shoulda. We doing, we doing it, man. All right, and doing it and doing it, nothing else. I guess like that wicked nigga right here. <laughs> but um said and go get them to the, the captivity unto the children of the people and speak unto them and tell them said Yahweh whether they will thus said Yahweh whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. And what's thus said Yahweh? The ICBM missiles are coming, which is the the, the thermonuclear war, which is the glittering spear, which is the sword that's coming upon the land, the RFID chip, the karagma. That Kasa stigma, all right, that 666, the mark of the beast, which is going to be implanted in your hand. You're not going to be able to buy and sell, all right, that's coming. Famine's coming, all right, race wars are coming, class wars are coming. The elites of the society, all right, want to put you back into captivity, and the Lord is going to deliver the elect of Israel from all this. That's the dust, says Yahweh, all right. That's what we're seeing come to pass. Then the Spirit took me up, and I heard a voice behind me. With a great rush, he said, Blessed be the glory of Yahweh from this place. And I also heard the noise of wings of living creatures that touch one another, and the noise of the wheels over against them, and the great noise of a great rushing. And that's the chariots of the Lord, man. The wheels over against them. All right. It said, And the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness, in the heat of my spirit, and the hand of Yahweh was strong upon me. And I came unto them at the captivity of Tel Abib, at the and that dwelt by the river of Shabar, and I sat, and I sat, and Salaki Khan, and I sat where they sat, and remained there astonished among them seven days. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of Yahweh came unto me, said, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman in Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. And that's what we set out to do. We set out there to blow the trumpet. We set out there to warn the nation of Israel who's in this darkness, man. Our people are oblivious to everything that's going on, to who they are, where they're from, where they're going. You know, they don't. They think they're African Americans, you know, Mexicans, uh, Latinos. They don't know that they're the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, that the Lord came to get, you know. Our people don't know what the hell. They don't know who Esau is. And they don't know who their enemy is, so therefore they don't know who their brother is. All right, our people are just lost in the sauce. You know, we so oppressed, depressed, suppressed, and just fucking press, man, on every side. And we're here to, to speak the words to them that's made free, that makes them free. The truth shall make you free. Verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Blood is blood I will require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked 
and he turned away from his wickedness, nor from and he turned not away from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he should die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So we gotta speak, we gotta preach, we gotta make videos, we gotta hold these people accountable. All right? By the law, statutes, and commandments, see how about Shem and how it shot. And whether you in this truth or whether you fall out this truth or be a dog, return to your own vomit, you still gonna be judged according to this word, man. You know? This ain't to get out the truth free card and you know that none of this accountability applies no more because you walked off into the fucking sun because you didn't want to do the work. You're still going to be judged by this word, man. Verse 20 says, When a righteous man do a turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin. And his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered. But his blood I will require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he do it not sin, he shall surely live because he is warned, and also thou hast delivered thy soul. So that's what we out, you know, that's why Paul said, We are not them that draw back, but of them that believe in saving the soul. All right. The book of James clearly tells you, he who saves the sinner from the error of his ways will save his soul from death and cover the most of the sins, you know. Paul, I think it's an act somewhere. Paul, it's in the gospel. He said he is free from the bloodshed of, of, of these men, man. If I'm quoting it right, because he did the work. He has not shunned and declared to you all the gospel, man. Esau is going down, man. I write these people who classify themselves as white and classified us as black, put that wicked stigma on us, man, and made us the outskirts of the earth, man. And that was the punishment that was orchestrated on, on us by Yahweh Bashim and Shah. But now that we're coming back into this truth, standing bold in the face of such as that afflicted us, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, you know, Revelation the 11th chapter, or was that 8 and 11 or 11 and 8, you know, with the two sticks. Let me, let me, let me see it. Where the two prophets get the breath of life. You know, I always quote that because this is a major prophecy. It's Revelation 11. Starting at 8, reading down, man. Getting getting the prophecies back, coming back into our heritage. And like I said earlier, the scripture said, the lion roared. Who can but prophesy? So we don't want to be caught sitting on our leaves, you know. A lot of times, you know, when you're doing even something physical like training, you're training for something, you know, your spirit might be down so you don't feel like training. But when you actually train, that, that lifts your spirit up. The same thing with the truth. The world, the kids of this world might weigh your flesh down and you just be like, man, I don't feel like studying. I don't feel like making videos. I don't feel like going. I don't feel like doing shit. But once you actually do it and get intimate with the scriptures and, and bring the spirit out and kind of force that out, man, and kind of dig deep, you know, you feel way better after you done made the video or something, man. So we set out here to warn our people, brothers. You know, it's just a brief ex exhortation, man. Do the work, man. Flow like living waters, man. Do the work, man. You know, we have a lot of sins to, to atone for, man. And, and the best way to do that, man, is to call on your by Shimmy Howard Shai out of pure heart and sincerity and truth, man. And do the work, man. And to feed his sheep if we love him. But with that being said, call aloud me how by Shimmy Howard Shai by Shimmy Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone and to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Do the work.